the Inland Empire's home for NASCAR. Fox Sports 1350. KTDD. This is Ryan Kelly with the LA Lakers. This is the High Sports Network. Yes, we are live. It is IE Sportsnet from the great city of Riverside, California at the iHeartRadio studios. Connected by Boost Mobile is Fox Sports 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And you know it's all good because I am Coach B. When it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops right here on Fox Sports 1350. Are you awake, Eternal? I am awake now because uh... <laughs> this is the song I needed by G right. Holler on the board, man. <laughs> To yeah. set it off, right? It, it feels like I, I just talked to G Holla, what, three, four hours ago? I know, man. We were just uh we were just doing it. We may be coined as some of the hardest working men in the you know in the media industry. In the Inland Empire, you yeah, know. Yeah, well, right, you know, I mean, you know, James Brown Jr. Um, yes. But uh yeah, man, had a had a great night last night. We were live uh, in direct uh, in the great city of Rancho Cucamonga calling the Etiwanda Eagles uh football game, had a great game against the Riverside Poly Bears, took them down. In an impressive fashion, Coach B. What were your thoughts about that game last night? It was a good game. And like we say, our hats, we take our hats off to Coach Davis. He's a, a huge supporter and friends of the Etiwanda Eagles. Full disclosure, I, I just so happen to have two kids that go to Etiwanda. <laughs> um, but uh, Coach Davis and the Etiwanda Eagles, they're doing great things over there. The second game um, at their own stadium. School was built in 1983. Right. And that was their second game in the history of their stadium. So they um so they're they're excited they're jacked up they um one and two they you know their first game was the battle for the fifteen they took a, a tough one against uh, Summit uh, Stephen Carr I mean he's legit and we talked about this last night think about this man when you sit there I know Davis had to think about this you see your schedule okay game one I got Stephen Carr right he, he's one of the best running backs in the nation Guaranteed. okay we'll get past that and then what what Jalen Phillips from Rev is uh. your second game. Oh my goodness! Wow, and and then you know, and and and, and I'm I'm sure they and we saw it. We uh-huh. saw the fans. They they I thought they were gonna. I mean, the, literally, the, they had to lock the high school down. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Because they're like, hey, you guys got to get out of here, right? You know what right? Because I mean? they were ready to set it off. I thought they were ready to party up until the wee hours in the morning. Yeah, last, last night. night. Yeah, well, we got out of there late. Uh, so you, you know, that, that's one thing we got to do better. We got to when the game's over, we got to go. But you know, we take a break. After being in that booth for two oh, and man. a half hours, two and a half straight. Yeah, we in there rapping. There's yes. no, you know, I, I, we want people to understand. Yes. People think, oh, you, hey, I could go in there and talk sports. Yes. But can you really do it and keep and be engaged and, and engaging for two hours? Scrape. And we gotta get, we gotta get the name of the uh, of the assistant principal that was helpful, and uh, and as well as the athletic director uh, at Etiwanda. They were so helpful to oh, that's, us. That's the assistant principal. Is it? Yes, remember? No, no, no. The one that she was there the first week that really ah. that set us up and got us going. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, my yeah. daughter was saying that I think this is her first year at Etiwanda High well, School. Well, everybody there has been extremely helpful. We are we're appreciative of the Etiwanda staff. Uh, very appreciative of, you know, of everybody there, Coach B. I mean, we've had a great situation go there. You know, the security's great. They take good care of us. You know, Coach B, I, I guess what we got to do is start working on getting us some runners. Uh huh. So we can start getting us some some food up in that joint. Mr. Harmio is 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 our guy, um, and and I'll let you try this because you you love to say names, so I'll let you go ahead and 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 what is her? Maybe Greg Holla can help us with that. Okay, so I, let's see. We, we got uh us uh, uh Sierra or Kara Sarah Sit. Wow. There you go. <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh yeah. Take your time. Take Sarah Sarah. There you go. There yes. you go. G Holler, he he waved. He, he, he said, gave he you gave the head me, he nod. Gave the th- he gave me the thumb of approval. So we'll take that. So we want to thank her. She got us all set up so we could broadcast uh, for our phone lines and yes, everything. Indeed. So so yeah. that was good stuff. So, you know, we, we can go ahead and once again, IE Sports Net, Fox Sports 1350 with Coach being eternal. Well, let's talk about this week one poll. You know, we got a lot of people talking junk on the poll. Hey, man, I, I love it. Hey, you know what? Keep the comments coming. Hey, you know. We, it's there for you guys. You know, we, we want to make sure we let everybody know, hey, look, the polls, um, we, you know, and, and, and to be honest with you, we like your input. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes, you know, we, we, maybe we need to get shook up a little bit. But I tell you what, our polls are looking pretty legit right now. And as you were saying, Coach B, coming in at number five, and we're talking about the week one, i.e. sportsnet.com, 11-man prep football preseason top five poll results, Coach B. Yes, the week two polls will be released tomorrow night. Yep. Um, if we can get our web web designer uh, to get it up in time, who does our web? Um. <laughs> oh man, you know, hey, you know what's funny, man? I, you gotta love Coach B. Coach B uh, texts me uh, late in the evening, and when he sends me these texts, I already know he's fired up. Yeah. He, say, he texts me, says, "I need to start learning how to put that stuff up on the website." <laughs> yeah. 
Well, you know, I you know, I, I just want to help you, man. <laughs> I know what that is. Uh, but, uh, but, again, uh, I was going down right now as we were talking about uh, Coach B a little earlier. Uh, up in high school, really one of the uh, one of the premier games that took place last night, up in high school had a huge game against Redlands East Valley. And, it, and, it, and again, it ended up being just what they said it was, just what they thought they were. Uh, you going to crown them? <laughs> <laughs> Rest uh, in peace, Coach Green. Man, love that guy. 44-34. Uh, to 34, um, the Upland Highlanders were able to take down the Coach Bruick led uh, Re- East uh, Redlands East Valley team. Coach B, I mean, that was a tough game last night. Yes, it was, and and that just shows you just how how competitive the the baseline yeah, league yeah, yeah. is. And you, and you so, talk about that often, and, and people talk about that, and they say, "Oh, well, this team's not doing this, and that team's not doing that." But that baseline, they are a juggernaut. You have Upland, you have Chino Hills, you have. Um, as well as you have Rancho Cucamonga. How can you forget about them? Right. Um, and another team, you're a Riverside native, born and raised in the side. One team that you know, when, like I said before, when have they ever had a bad year in football? They're, I mean, they just breed them over there like the horses. I mean, you know, Norco's uh, known for horses, but uh, another thing they're known for is studmuffin.com's over and there. And playing some football. And playing some football. I mean, they do it over there. And they, I mean, that's just what they do, I mean, when they, it's, I mean, from the womb. I mean, and so uh, big, uh, well, I guess they, they were um, – they were idle this week, uh, from what I understand, uh, Coach B. But they, but, but uh, prior to that, they did take an L to Rancho Cucamonga uh, on September second. Yes, so, so that was a, so that's one of the things. And and you know, when you look at the teams, and, and like we said, Upland came in fifth, uh, Norco came in four, Vista Marietta three and zero. And there's been some people that have been contesting their placement, but uh, they're three and zero. Um, and they beat Corona Santiago last night, Handily. forty-one thirteen. Yeah. Um, so you know, Upland's uh, Upland is two and one. Norco is one and one because, like we said, they had to buy uh, Rancho Cucamonga, yet another juggernaut in and that baseline league. Three and zero right now, Coach B, and they're really coming in. They had some momentum, and they were able to run a route against Don Lugo, forty-seven to nine, Coach B. Right. And you know, just just a side note, uh, the kids that that uh, went from Upland to uh, Corona Centennial, now they're going to be at, at Rancho Cucamonga. Yeah. And Rancho Cucamonga and Upland, I think they'll be eligible that game. Uh, so that's a game we may wow. have to get out and we see. We may have to go see that. Yes. <laughs> if, if, Edouan does, if Edouan is not playing that game right. that it's, night exactly. at home, uh, exactly. we'll have to go I'll see that game. I'll take my Pond Pilot. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know, because we're doing all six Etiwanda Wanda Eagle games right here on Fox Sports 1350. Yes, Thank game you, guys. The, the podcast will be up soon. Yes. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, Corona Centennial. Orange Lutheran. Last night we saw our scores on iesportsnet.com. It, it was it was up and down, but oh since goodness. we it's confirmed, it was vetted. I don't know if that was the Orange Lutheran. Uh, they had some hackers over there that yes. was doing that because we were we were experiencing some. We saw at one point in time the score came up eighty eight to twenty one. Yes, and I, I, I said, Coach B, this can't be right. No, cannot. And, no, it cannot. And then all of a sudden it went. It, it, it was weird. However, we do have the official score, Coach B. You want to let the folks know what that is? Forty two fourteen. Uh, those Corona Centennial Huskies went in there and got it. And that's a Pac-5 school. Yes, indeed. Uh, Centennial, the one thing about Logan, he's like Florida State used to be. Yeah. You know, they'll play anyone, Line anytime, up. anywhere. Line them up. You know, uh, RCC, you want to play? Hey, they're in Corona. <laughs> so so they will they will get them. So if you want all the up-to-minute scores, log on to iesportsnet.com. And again, um, always, uh, it looks like we're going to have some in-studio guest coach B. So, folks, you guys don't want to leave. we got Paloma Valley football head coach, Coach Espos- Esposito. Yes, Esposito. Yes. Esposito. Yes. I, I, you know, es- Esposito. Yes, got that's it. our guy. That es- is our coach guy. Coach Espo is what I think we're aware of, but we're going to, hopefully he'll let us get him a little coin nickname. And we also have out of Upland Christian uh, head football coach, Coach Van Pertz. Yes, and, and, and that's again, our guy. And that a uh, coach VP, uh, affectionately known as Coach VP, been down with us since we were uh, we were you know we were hanging, we were doing the radio show uh, inside the wall closet, just yes. trying to get it together. The out war there. room, <laughs> yeah, out there in the great city of San Bernardino. Absolutely, like my guy said, he said we had the valet, uh, we had the valet uh, uh, people out there, valet valet parking cars. That was probably <laughs> the best reference I've ever heard about those folks, about the natives out there in San Bernardino. And like we said, to get the complete poll, the poll will be posted Sunday night. Log on to IE Sports Net. 
IESportsNet.com for the latest scores. Log on to IESportsNet.com. And like we said, the high school game of the week, Etiwanda Eagles versus the Riverside Poly Bears will be up on podcast later on today as well as this show. You want to follow us, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, all at IESportsNet. You ready to take a commercial break? We've got to pay some it, bills. Yes, sir. Greg Holler's going to start a party. Now you got the whoop, there it is going. So <laughs> I love this guy, Greg Holler, man. The show just wouldn't be the show without, uh, without Greg Holler. So you're listening to IESportsNet connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. Andy Turner, when it comes to Illinois Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here live on Fox Sports 1350. You're listening to IESportsNet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Legal attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood thinning drugs Zarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Zarelto and Prodexa have been linked to internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken these blood-thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24-7. Call 800-282-8605. That's 800-282-8605. 800-282-8605. You could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. All right, guys. We're ready for our four-season sunroom, and Daddy's gonna get a rec room with refreshments. Oh, no. We'll be sleeping under the stars. Mom, what about the one with, you know, the fun? Nice try, little bro. It's a gym. My gym. Hey, Grandma's getting her Four Seasons garden room. Weather tight and still like being outdoors. Maybe a living room. Oh, no, wait. A family hub. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what the budget, the season, or the climate, Four Seasons Sunrooms let you and your family enjoy the outdoors inside. Call now to hear more about these great offers from the premier manufacturer of sunrooms since 1975. More reasons for four seasons now. To find out more, call toll-free 800-973-5533. That's 800-973-5533. Call 800-973-5533 today. Hello, my name is Officer Richard Guerrero, Vice President of the Fontana Police Officers Association. We're more than just a labor organization. The Fontana Police Officers Association is serious about giving back to our community, particularly to our kids. We found that kids who study, do well in school, volunteer regularly and participate in sports are less likely to become involved in criminal activity and illicit drug usage. Each year we provide thousands of dollars in scholarships to local kids, community causes, and we are proud sponsors of the Inland Valley All-Star Classic Series. The Fontana POA and strong community leadership will make way for safer and more prosperous communities. Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories, and field equipment, youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well, and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle Score Sports. That's S-C-O-R-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. What's up? This is TJ Ward from the Denver Broncos. You're now tuning to I Sports. The Inland Empire Sports Authority. Yes, we are back in IE Sportsnet right here live in the great city of Riverside at the iHeartRadio Studios. IE Sportsnet connected by Boost Mobile on Fox Sports. 1350, I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops here. And you know, uh, Eternal, this is this is always special when we have uh, Upland Christian in. 
Uh, anyone affiliated with Upland Christian backstory, what people don't know is IE Sports Net was built. It was started and founded with uh, us doing the high school games with Upland Christian back indeed, in, in indeed. 2012. Uh, um, and that was, that's when you had uh, had had our guy. Uh, I, I was going to call him Creflo Dollar. <laughs> no, no, Mr. Dollar. Mr. Do- no, I not, no, I'm talking about the, the quarterback. Yes. I'm about oh, the quarterback. yes, Eric. The, uh, Eric Dollar, yeah. I mean, a gamer. My, my man, my man, he was throwing that pigskin around, boy. I tell you that. Yeah, and his, and his father, Mr. Dollar, has been a huge supporter yes, of, of IE Sportsnet. Now, with that being said, we're joined in studio by Upland Christian Head, uh, our football coach, basketball coach, uh, everything, uh, uh, Coach Von Pertz. Uh, on IE Sportsnet, Fox Sports 1350 with Coach B in the turn. Now, I, 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 we normally do Coach VP. Did I get it right this time? Yes, sir. There you go. So you I've been it. working see, on this. And Coach VP, <laughs> he coached coach, me up. Well, first thing first, he's going to let you off easy anyway. You know that. <laughs> coach VP, he knows you well enough to say, hey, I'm just going to let you know. I'm not yeah. going to be, I'm not just going to just crucify this guy on air. Oh, we just say he was a head coach for the uh, the All Star game. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, there it is. Yeah. Uh, there it is. I mean, uh, Coach VP, tell you what, man. Thank you so much. Obviously, you got here bright and early. We always appreciate your presence. Uh, some special going on obviously with your program. Um, I know yes, that sir. I know there's been something you've been wanting to do for quite some time, but you guys have now, as a school, Upland Christian Academy, you guys have now made that transition from eight man football to eleven man football now. So you guys are playing. You know, you you guys are out there with the guys now. Uh, obviously, you got you graduated some of your studs last year. So tell me about the preparation this summer from eight man to eleven man, and how are you dealing with your new the, the new talent that you have on your team. Well, we built a, a, a on-campus weight room, and that's been huge. Wow. And, and it's something that's been in the making. We we had a little one last year, but this year we have a, a huge area that we've created a, a, an outdoor weight room. Okay, it's similar to what Santiago had at one time when they first started, and uh, it's just been a blessing there at the school to to get our kids stronger mentally and physically. Yeah, and they jump from eight man. You don't think it's a big deal, but there's a lot of eleven man coaches that couldn't ca- coach eight man. But yeah. there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of nuances that our kids are learning, and uh, our, our guys, our junior class, senior class, none of them have ever played 11-man football, wow. or very little of it in Pop Warner or something yeah. like that. So it's been a it's been a jump, but uh, we're learning all the positions. we got more spots for more people to play. Everybody's playing, so we're creating a lot of depth. Indeed. Now, one of the things, I mean, you do it all. I mean, you're, you're not, you're not, I mean, some people I'm just think. I'm a groundskeeper. I do a little bit of field painting. He takes uh, the tickets. Uh, I, don't do, I don't do tickets, but uh, like, I, I will if they need that. Right, right. No, and, and I was just saying in terms of you just being a jack of all trades because you're familiar with basketball. I mean, we had you out. You coached basketball, did a phenomenal job for our Inland Valley All-Star Classic, and also you're the football coach. We, I wanted to ask you, Coach, with all the things that are going on now in terms of distractions, social media, et cetera, how is it that you are able to keep your kids focused on the task at hand, you know, obviously graduating from high school and also performing well on the field and on the court? We do a lot of personal interaction. You know, uh, it's easy to put your head down and play Pokemon games and all that stuff, walk around campus and not right. do anything. We do a lot of shaking hands, uh, talking to everybody. We have a lot of little team meetings. Nice. Uh, we do a little bit of texting, you know, to make sure people know where to be. Right. But uh, social media is a good thing. It can be. Uh, our kids are very responsible. Um, we're fortunate to have that at our school. But the big thing is personal interaction. we got to have that communication. Or, or, uh, it's just something that it's kind of gone away from in the last few years because it is easier to, to, be, to watch it on Twitter or what is it? MySpace? Oh, no. Facebook. <laughs> Just kidding. I know what the difference is. We showed our age with that. I, I love you MySpace. You knew MySpace? Oh. Yes. I love MySpace. Man, tell me about it. <laughs> I don't do it anymore. I don't do it anymore, but I love MySpace. So, so once again, we're joined in studio by Upland Christian head football coach, Coach Van Pertz, on IE Sportsnet. Fox Sports 1350 with Coach being the Turner. Now, Coach, looking down the road, you still, and we talked about this off air, um, you had a very difficult league schedule. One of the teams that are non-league schedule, one of the teams you play, you said they were ranked pretty high, um, and you still have some big games coming up. You got New, New View Bridge. The Webb School has always had great athletic programs. Oh, yeah. Before you go into the league, why it's, it's so important? You made the jump from 8-man to 11-man, but why was it so important for you to, to have such a, a, a tough schedule this year going into 11 man to get our guys focused and to uh, our practices are, are are good it's a it's a lot of fun to practice against yourself but it's better to, to play against great teams and 
Newview Bridge is a good, a fine team, and and Webb is as well. And it just gets us better for league. I, I mean, our goal is to is to to win league, and um, the only way we can do that is to to continue to to get better by playing better teams. Capistrano Valley is a ranked team. They were Division Thirteen last year. They've moved up to Division Eleven, I believe, this year with the new playoff system that's in place. And um, they're they're a great team. They have a couple of really Great athletes, a uh, quarterback and a running back, and, and a couple of linebackers that are about 6'2". Mm-hmm. They've got some guys. Yeah, they, they've got they, some studs. They just don't have enough just like everybody else, but if they had a few more, I mean, they're they're going to definitely go far this season. And as we mentioned, you, you you made the jump to 11 men. I know you've, we, we've, you've come on the show. This is your third year coming. I know you this has been in, in the works for a while, so it's not something that just happened overnight. So, you're, so this year you guys are in the Arrowhead League. Um, you have games against – league games against Carnegie Schools and Riverside – California School of the Deaf uh, in Riverside, Hamilton, Sherman, uh, Sherman Indians. What are your thoughts about the league this year, and what are your expectations? Well, I think it's going to be very competitive. Uh, Hamilton's playing a tough league season, uh, or non-league, and uh, I know Carnegie is as well. The other teams are just getting into play right now, Sherman and, and CSDR. But, um, you know, our, we set our goals to win league. I mean, you got to have some goals, and mm-hmm. that's what it is. And we, you know, during the hot summers, it's 105 degrees out. Like I said, we're lifting outside, uh, so we're we're trying to build some toughness with and character with our our kids. And um, you know, Carnegie's a good school. They have uh, Coach McMan or McManus from uh, he coached at Rubido a few years ago, and he's a great coach. And it's just going to make our league that much better having a lot of, of great coaches. And I hope to be one of them one you know one day in the future. So, uh, yeah, our league is going to be good. It's going to be a good good season. Now, Coach, I wanted to ask you, Coach, one of the things that, uh, as we were alluding to prior, you have, I mean, you, you, you have some extensive coaching history. I mean, you, you, you've coached. I mean, you've seen a lot of stuff in your time coaching. What is one of the things, Coach, that, that has really uh, pulled your interest in terms of in coaching, like something that you say, hey, like, this is what really drives me to coach? Just being with the young men, <clears throat> I'm just blessed because – our guy, I mean, I'm giving back to their, our community, I feel, building young men to be better men. There's a lot of kids that just need a little bit more guidance. Yep. And, I mean, I don't do it. I'm not a teacher. I'm a plumbing superintendent for controller uh, contractors in Anaheim. Uh, they give me enough time to do these things on the weekends and the evenings and nice. stuff like that. And so they've allowed me to do something that I have a passion for. And uh, to not be a teacher, not be a full-time uh, on-campus person, that just shows you the what I want to get out of it. Oh, yeah. And I want to get out of getting something back from them, the players. And that is see them move on and, and play football if they want to, but be good fathers and husbands and, you know, move on with their lives. And that's – I'm getting to see that now. I'm yeah. getting I'm getting up there in age, so I'm, I'm seeing more and more guys. You've seen that, some guys do some things. Yes. Yep, yes, seen some guys. Indeed. And, you know, one thing that we that, that we talked about, Sudika. My guy graduated. Yeah, um, that was our guy, right? What a great, what a great football name, Coach. Absolutely, B. man. I mean, that, that he was a very good guy. I know you said he's away uh, doing a mission, so we wish him the best and safe travels. But who are some of the student athletes that at uh, Upland Christian that we're going to say, "Oh my God, that's the next guy right there"? Oh my gosh, uh, Nathan Dennis is our quarterback, free safety. He's uh, he's having a rough time in the eleven man football right now, just uh, getting better. <laughs> I mean, it's, oh, it's a lot more guys it's out a grind. there. It's a grind. Exactly. Oh yeah, and better quality opponents as Indeed. well. And he's just been phenomenal. Um, and then uh, we got David Serrano. He plays safety, running back, wide receiver. He's a jack of all trades. He's just a super athlete. He's just been a stud as well. Both are juniors. Oh uh, wow! So you got some yeah folks coming. Pierce back. Marquez. He's nice. a about a six two two twenty five tackle. Second year playing football. Finally just starting to feel it. Yeah. And then uh, we got our our uh, middle linebacker Easton Waters. All these guys are are juniors. Yeah. So I mean the future is totally bright with these guys and Easton Waters has just been a kid that's a spark on our defense and plays a little bit of running back. But a lot of guys have to play both ways. Play yeah. both ways, yeah. play all the special teams. So our conditioning, I mean, we've been doing pretty well. We've been hanging in there. And uh last night we took a a little bit of a a, a thrumping, but yeah. Hey, What's what makes you stronger is get getting a knockdown, getting back up. Right. Know? Well, see, I mean, you're coming. In, you you guys are making that transition. So it's not. I mean, and I'm sure you you communicated this to your your, your team is that it's, you're not going to going to come from eight man to eleven man football and start encountering a, a great deal of success. It's going to be a process, a growth process of kind of getting in the the flow of things. 
Yeah, it's like building, uh, you know, when Summit High School first started, I coached up there. We had freshmen and sophomores, 0 and 10 a couple of years. And then, uh, you know, they win CIF. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, yeah. that, that, that's our, our goal. That's where yeah. we're, you know, we're heading in that direction, or, or I hope we are. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know that our players want it as well. So, our, and our community, our, our facilities and stuff. Well, we we certainly appreciate you coming. Out one of the guys that has been very supportive of us, and we got to say, it, is Upland Christian Academy athletic director Mark Edgman. He's been he's been very very supportive of everything that we've done um, here at IE Sports Net. So, Coach, we we appreciate you coming in coming in so early, bright and bushy tail. So, uh, we were joined in studio by Upland Christian head coach Coach Von Pertz. Did I, I got it right? You did. Hey, I want to just tell you guys, you just do a great service for our community, the Inland Empire. There's a lot of great things that are in our future for both uh, IE Sports and Upland Christian, you know, passing tournaments and stuff that we're hopefully working together in <laughs> the future. Indeed, absolutely. And, uh, oh, yes. Just the uh, all-star games that you guys have put together the last couple of years, the volleyball, the, the basketball, those are first-class events that you guys have done. And, and any place, L.A. or anywhere else, would be shocked to see what we're doing out here. They need yes. to come out and see what you guys are doing. You guys are doing a great job. I really appreciate everything. Well, thank you, you so thank much, you. Coach. Really we, appreciate we, that. It means a lot. And we couldn't do the games without uh, Coach Rome. Yeah, so. Coach Rome is our yeah, he's he's our guy. He's he, he's our uh and, and it was the A team. He's he's the Hannibal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I love it when the plan comes oh, together. Oh man, that's one of my favorites. And you know, I, it, on a side note, my initials are BA. So I, I oh, can't yeah. tell you how many times <laughs> I heard that. So Minus the Mohawk. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we thank you once again, no Coach doubt. VP from Upland Christian. Uh, you're listening to IE Sports Net Connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. And Eternal, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here live on Fox Sports 1350. Up next, Paloma Valley Football and Head Coach Espo. You're listening to iesportsnet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood-thinning drugs Zarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Zarelto and Prodexa have been linked to internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken these blood-thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24-7. Call 800-282-8605. That's 800-282-8605. 800-282-8605. You could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. All right, guys. We're ready for our four-season sunroom, and Daddy's gonna get a rec room with refreshments. Oh, no. We'll be sleeping under the stars. Mom, what about the one with, you know, the fun? Nice try, little bro. It's a gym. My gym. Hey, Grandma's getting her four seasons garden room. Weather tight and still like being outdoors. Maybe a living room. Oh, no. Wait. A family hub. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what the budget, the season, or the climate, Four Seasons Sunrooms let you and your family enjoy the outdoors inside. Call now to hear more about these great offers from the premier manufacturer of sunrooms since 1975. More reasons for four seasons now. To find out more, call toll-free 800-973-5533. That's 800-973-5533. Call 800-973-5533 today. Hello, my name is Officer Richard Guerrero, Vice President of the Fontana Police Officers Association. We're more than just a labor organization. The Fontana Police Officers Association is serious about giving back to our community, particularly to our kids. We found that kids who study, do well in school, volunteer regularly and participate in sports are less likely to become involved in criminal activity and illicit drug usage. Each year we provide thousands of dollars in scholarships to local kids, community causes, and we are proud sponsors of the Inland Valley All-Star Classic Series. The Fontana POA and strong community leadership will make way for safer and more prosperous communities. 
Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories, and field equipment, youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well, and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle Score Sports. That's S-C-O-R-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. What's up? This is Nick Young of the L.A. Lakers. You rocking at IE Sportsnet. The Inland Empire Sports Authority. All right, we are back in the great city of Riverside at the iHeartRadio studios. It's IE Sportsnet, connected by Boost Mobile on Fox Sports 1350. I am your host, Eternal. And I am the one and only Coach B. You know, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, the conversation starts and stops right here. Man, let me tell you something. Now, that's BDK that uh, Greg Hollis playing right there. I know the young men were looking at me like, BDK, that's Big Daddy Kane. You know, <laughs> now, he was king of the flat, the high top back in the day. Like, he used to have, like, the high top. He used to have, like, about three steps, like, three different levels. Like, you could kind of walk Kids up. Kids nowadays have those haircuts. Yeah, I, I, yes. I'm just trying to give him a little a little, a little history lesson on where it came from. So, I was Big Daddy Kane used to do that. Um, you know, I, I know I dated myself pretty good with that, but it's okay. You know, I'm, I'm going to be all right. We have uh, one of our, our favorite coaches. He's coach uh, coached at my high school. You know, I wish he was there when I was there. Maybe we could have went to. We could have got a state championship or something like that. You know, unfortunately, all we got was some water thrown uh, at us, and it was because we won any, any, any kind of football games. Uh, uh, coach, I tell you what, please uh, do us the courtesy of introducing yourself to the IE Sports Net audience. Although you need no introduction, but please do introduce yourself and your players. Uh, Bert Esposito from Paloma Valley High School, and we have Seth Harris. Dylan Adams, Corey Maddox, and Chance Nolan here with us. Coach, I really appreciate you coming out, and thank you guys. I know you guys made the drive. I really appreciate you guys making it out. Uh, now, Coach, this year, uh, we caught up with you over the summer. Your, your team was doing the 7-on-7. Seven seven. We also got a chance to see you guys over at, at our good friend, the IE Preps. The, you guys were doing the, uh, the media day over there. Um, you guys are building, uh, kind of like building on that momentum you guys kind of have from that 7-on-7. Seven seven. Um, also, you guys are 3-0 and right now with wins over, Ran- I want to make sure I'm getting this right, Rancho, Buena Vista, Valley View, and then last night against King. Talk to me about your team and where you kind of where you think your boys are right now. Well, we're, do- we're doing a pretty good job, obviously. Uh, we expected that to happen. We had a lot of returning players from last year, some good young guys mixed in with the older guys. And so this team's more or less a veteran team. Right. And so expectations are high, and they're fulfilling them. And obviously in football, you have your highs and lows and within a game. And, uh, you know, getting through those things is what we're learning about. And we're grateful for the competition. It's really tested us a couple times, and these guys have really stepped up and done a fantastic job. Fantastic. And it's always good when your team responds to your coaching. Um, as we mentioned, it's still a little early. And you guys haven't really hit league play yet, but maybe you kind of talk about some of the players that you're impressed with uh, that, that have really kind of done some some things, kind of adapted to your coaching. Yeah, I mean, this team is so well-rounded um, in so many ways. And, I mean, even off the field, academically, nice. um, on, on campus, they're the leaders of the campus. I really don't have any issues with that. And That's that good. says a lot about their character. Indeed. But uh, I can tell you, man, most of the kids on the team all have their roles. And these guys here today are some of our key players offensively. Um, but there's some other ones that aren't here. And, I mean, I'm just going to go through the list here. Please, please. <laughs> uh, Steven Bradshaw, Andre Kirkpatrick, Jaden Lundy, Seth Carvalho, Blake Moore, Damian Torres, Dylan Rodriguez, Philip Mills, Nick Narano, Malik Baranoskis, Chase Ryder, Kaiser LaBoss, Joey Portman. I mean, these kids have and, – and there's others. They have yeah. all fulfilled the roles. Nice. And it's just like to me it's – one of the best team I've ever had. You know, it's funny, Coach, because you were, you were doing the roll call right there. Now, I know when I was a kid, I would be sitting there listening. 
to the radio station. I mean, I mean, I'm sitting there like you know, just holding my blanket. Like, come on, coach, say my name, man. Yeah, make sure you say my name in there. But the coach, it's always good, man. We appreciate that, Coach B. Absolutely, we're joined in studio by Paloma Valley football head football coach Esposito, head man, head man. top guy, IE Sports, then on Fox Sports 1350 with Coach B and Eternal. Now, you know, Coach, we're looking down the road a little bit. You still have a very tough league schedule with some games coming up. You have two and one Corona uh, coming up, and then you have one and one Temesco Valley. Uh, before you get into the Sun Belt League. And when you get there, you always have the perennial power heritage waiting. Um, so what what are some of the – why is it so important for you guys to do that? You Because you, you, you did that 7-on-7. Seven seven. It was the Adidas, and you won the state championship. You, right. you play a daunting schedule, even in the offseason. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I mean, why is that, Coach? Well, I mean, all, all guys that coach know you got to put yourself in, in, in the battle. Indeed. You know, and it's just like training. You know, you push yourself to the edge and then – that allows you to continue and press on, and, and that's what we do. We try to play very good, competitive teams. Not, not you know, we're not going to go out there and play Centennial or anything. We're not ready for that, <laughs> right, right, or right. Bishop Gorman or IMG. But um, you know, within ourselves, within our reality, we need to stretch. And yeah. the teams that we play, the tournaments we play in, all that, it's all about stretching us, indeed, and pushing us to the edge and handling that adversity. Absolutely. Now, look at this. Uh, Eternal, I, I'm looking at some of the kids' notes. Uh, Dylan <laughs> Adams. Now, my last name is Arrington. So, the only time – he said he's never got a grade lower than an A in high school. The only time I got a – typically I got an A is when they said my last name. They would start off with an right. A. I was sitting in right. front of the classroom. And they, would be, and, they, and they would be telling you, A, get in the back of the classroom. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Let me talk to the, to the center right quick. He started playing football as a freshman. He didn't he – didn't, his parents said he'd enjoy it, but he didn't agree. Yeah. Um, so it's, it, you sound like you're definitely into the school. Um, so <laughs> Which most of the linemen always are, man, right? They're, they're the smart guys of the field. Absolutely. And, and I know Coach would love this because, I mean, to have a kid that's never got less than an A, that, that, that's amazing. Why, why is academic so, so academic so important to you? And you were the first guy we met this morning, and you were yeah, he's like, hey, I'm doing so, so why is school so important to you? Well, they, they try to raise us, the coaches try to raise us to be uh, scholar athletes and that means academics comes first before football. So, indeed, as hard as practice can be, you got to make sure your academics are in place first, so that you can go somewhere after football. Absolutely, absolutely. Coach coaching them up, guarantee. Now, I want to talk to uh, where's, where's, where's quarterback at? I don't know if I have quarterbacks uh, information. Right. Just just look for the coolest guy, right? Uh, just look for the coolest guy, and I'm sure What's you will find him. Chance. I got chance. All right, come on, chance. Step up to the mic here. The junior quarterback. Yes, indeed. Now. Chance, you're you have two brothers. So is it is it are you one of three or is it th- is it two of you guys? Yeah, one of three. Yes. One of three. So so are, are you the youngest? I'm the middle. I'm the middle child. Middle yeah. child. Okay. So talk to us about. Tell us something special about Coach here. I mean, because I mean, I, I'm sure Coach he coaches you up or not. Not no. I mean, remember not, no, no up downs. I just about to say Monday. don't get, don't get crazy now because <laughs> this thing is recorded. You know what I mean? And Coach will play this back for you. Mm-hmm. Tell us something co- uh, special about Coach in terms of how you, how you get your team fired up. Uh, well, yeah. Well, ever since ever since I was a freshman, I've been seeing it. Coach Esposito, he really does a good job of getting. Getting us prepared for the week and getting has a great week. He always makes us have a great week of practice, you know. And he never he never lets us slack off. He'll always tell us when we're doing and picking everything up and stuff. Indeed. That's, yeah. So he really does a great job of just keeping us keeping us involved in the game and involved in the week and not letting us slack off. Certainly. Now, now, Coach B, I know you got somebody else. Now, I'm looking at this. I, I mean, Coach, I, maybe I need to transfer my kids to this school. <laughs> now, 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 listen to this. I'm looking at Seth. Uh, Seth Harris, he's a, he's a 4.3, and he's ranked third in his class. Uh, he is a senior captain and a three-year varsity starter. What is in the water out there, Coach, first of all? I, I don't know what it is. But, uh, again, why are academics so important to you? Um, just probably because I, I, I realize that uh, football is not where it's going to be for the rest of my life, and uh, i got to make sure I have plans and ability to uh, have a good life after after football. And it's always it's always satisfying to tackle someone twice your size. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got excited about that. Once again, it's Fox Sports thirteen fifty with Coach being eternal. We have Paloma Valley in studio with us. Now we also have uh, Mr. Maddox here, here as well. Now this, you know, now it was funny because we were t- we were talking to some folks off air, and we were uh, yesterday we were in the booth. The we running were, back. We were letting them know that we were gonna. Um, interview you coach and they said oh they got a running back over there yes yeah. yes <laughs> and so i said so and so my man his instagram it, you know i always like to see this you know my man he's 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 thinking outside of the, out of the box right here he has a future it's cmd entertainment so <laughs> tell us a little bit about that mr maddox well throughout my like through my 
dad's side of the family, there's this name we go by, Mad Dog. Mm -hmm. (laughs) He's the original Mad Dog. I'm basically Mad Dog third. Junior, yeah. I'm just carrying out the tradition. So it's Corey Mad Dog Entertainment. Okay, I got it. I got it. Now, he's he's doing the the beats for his own highlight video. You know what I mean? He got his own thing going on. Now, 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 right now, that folks are, are obviously are, are talking about, you know, they're, they're making they're making comments about you and they're saying you're doing some special things over there. Tell me about what your season. How do you feel your season's going for you as a running back for your school right now? Hey, I just I just feel like as we're working as a team, I love my line. They're probably the reason. I they're no doubt the reason I'm able to do everything I'm doing right now. Yeah, well, yeah, and you got to make sure the line's right. I know the quarterback's like, hey, man, you know, you know, they the center, me and the center, we him. like, cool. Yeah. Oh, you know what I mean? Because you exactly. saw what happened to Cam the other day, boy. Cam, he's still trying to wake up. Yeah. yeah. And then one thing that I want to ask just to, to Chance, so, so let's say you're running a dive, and, and you're, you're, you're in the shotgun, you're over center, and you hand the ball off to Corey, and you see him shake somebody. It's him in the safety. Mm-hmm. What, 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 you, are you thinking to yourself, this is, this is already a touchdown. You already got your hands up. Are you already, <laughs> oh, yeah. are you already celebrating? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How does that feel for both of you guys? When, I mean, you, you put in all the work, and then you see that, and you're 3-0. Mm-hmm. How does that feel when you guys see that? It, it, the, 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 because, Coach, I know he pushes you and he coaches mm-hmm. you guys up, mm-hmm. but how does that feel when you guys you get that victory? It just feels great because all the hard work we put in through practice and all the sweat and blood in the offseason that we – we put onto the field, just all comes down to it, and then we get paid on Friday night. So there it is. Get the payday. I there like that. Now, Coach, real quick, I want to talk to you guys about heritage uh, because I know that um, that that's that you know obviously that's a that's the school right there for you guys, and it's funny because they're in an interesting plight because they're saying, "Hey, we're not getting the respect." I'm sure you guys are trying to get the respect. Talk to us about that 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 was going on over there with you two schools in terms of. You know, building upon it and getting respect for you guys. You got both of you guys' programs. Well, you know, obviously they've had some success over the last six years, um, and they've done a great job doing what they do. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the rest of us in the league have to catch up. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that's that's something that happens when a, a good, powerful team is in your league. You either step it up or, you know, you're not going to be in that league very long. Indeed. And so uh, it's a great – it hasn't really been a rivalry yet because we haven't beaten them yet. Right, you got to win first. Yeah. got to win for it to be a rivalry. No yeah. one else has beaten them either. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, you know, hopefully this year, we, you know, we'll take that challenge. But honestly, we don't even talk about it. There you go. You I, was, I was about to say that's why I addressed you, Coach. Cause I didn't want to put your team out there. <laughs> I know, cause I know, I, I know how I am. I know when I was a player, I'm, I'm ready to go. Right Coach now. will pull out that yeah. whistle. You be in here running sprints down this hallway. I know. You, I like line them up right now. But no, I understand that, Coach, because again, that's one of those things. You know, it's each. I know for you, it's like, hey, each week, game after game, and we'll worry about them when it, when it's time for. Schedule. I mean, by the time we get to week ten. Who knows what's left? Yeah. Injuries, grades, right, things like right. that. Yeah, you know you don't have team... to worry about grades on your team. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we we do, but we don't. Yeah. Uh, he's he's like, hey, wait a minute. They're still... pretty motivated for that, and that's awesome. Right. You know, but you know, you don't even know what kind of team you're going to be in yeah, that right. week ten. You're right. You know, you're, you're just right. building, building, building. So talking about that doesn't doesn't help anybody. Right. You know. So right now we're just Corona. I mean, right after the game, I was already on my thing. Going, right. You know, Corona, at Corona. Film and yeah. you know, we're ready to go. Right. right. And I know you said you had some problems this morning with uploading film. So that's the thing about Coach. You think about it. He was up late last night coaching. Yeah, this we're morning, thinking, he's already worried about film. Well, yeah. I mean, that's it's, it's almost like what we were doing. Like, you know, last night we're calling football. We're doing our stuff. And we, hey, we're here bright and early right back at it. So, I mean, it showed the commitment. And, again, obviously, you're, I'm sure your team enjoys that about you because you're, you're obviously you're, you're there. You're prepared. And uh, that's just a, uh, really a testament to your coaching, uh, you know, your coaching pedigree, Coach. Absolutely, and when you see the success that he's having, so coach, we, we, we want to talk about this. We'll talk about the the, the matchup. You as you said, uh, you're talking, you're traveling to two and one Corona. They're led by a, a solid quarterback and, and Moses Deanda and running back Justin Johnson. What are your thoughts on that game and the matchup? And and, and uh, well, it's an interesting one because we both played Valley View, uh-huh. and so we've gotten to see each other against the same opponent. Yeah. And you know, obviously, in early in the season, especially from week to week. Uh, teams change the most mm-hmm. because, you know, they find out their mistakes and they readjust. So, you know, it's an interesting matchup. And, and really looking at it, you know, it could be a close game. And if either team doesn't come up defensively, this could be a high-scoring shootout. Yes, indeed. You know, yeah. uh, they're scoring a lot of points. We're scoring a lot of points. So um, I know they stumbled last night. I haven't gotten to see the film yet. But um, I know they got – 
Boatner over there. Yeah. You know, that kid's the real deal. Yeah. And, they, yeah. and they're, they're running back, and, um, you know, they're big up front. Yeah. Which, of course, everybody's big to us. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, I, th- I think, you know, again, you take care of yourself. Do what you do best and keep working at it, and we'll see what happens next week. Heard that, Coach. And, you know, one thing that I love to ask, because we've talked to a couple of coaches about this, and, and the week zero. Um, a lot of coaches are doing that week zero. You get a buy throughout your season. Is that in, in some? I've I've heard some coaches they don't want to do the week zero, and then they'll play a team that's played a game, and they they've been able to make adjustments. Right. Do you think that's benefit? Because I see you guys did do a week zero. Is that beneficial to you guys? Are you just ready to get after it? I, I think so. Uh, you know, after a while, you, you get tired of hitting each other. You yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you want to hit somebody else and, and all that good stuff. But uh, I really look at it more as to the break in the middle of the season. Right. You know, you got kids, and again, like you said, we don't really worry about grades too much. We hardly ever lose anybody, but sometimes for us, that's the breaking point of where kids either become ineligible or eligible. Yeah, right, right. So that that little window right there gets lets us know, hey, this kid's not going to be around, so right. we got to get another guy ready. Exactly. Plus, it helps you uh, heal from your injuries. Right. And just, you know, two weeks to get ready oh, for yeah. your first league opponent. Oh, yeah. I'll take it. Coach Esposito is always coaching. Man, he's even he's coaching on. the schedule. Yeah, he's, like, yeah. <laughs> he's coaching the schedule. Coaching it up. Yeah, and, and Coach, like I said, man, this we, we really appreciate you coming out and making a trip. I mean, again, I, I know you have to be excited about, you know, you guys starting out the season 3-0. and I'm sure the players are fired up, ready to go, and uh, really start to produce some stuff. So we're looking forward to it, Coach, man. Awesome. We're excited about awesome. the season. Thank you so much for coming in studio. Once again, we're joined by Paloma Valley football head coach Exposito on IE Sports Net, Fox Sports 1350 with Coach being eternal. He also brought some players, man, four of them, man. Yes, yes. So we had Chance Nolan, Corey Maddox, uh, Dylan Adams, and Seth. Harris. Indeed. So so we thank you guys for coming out. We'll be watching you guys. We watch you all, all over the uh, the spring, and then we're going to do some great things uh, in coach, postseason out in Riverside. We're so excited about that. We'll have you come back, Coach, and make an announcement on that. I know it's football season. You're talking about that. But we're going to take a commercial break. You're listening to IE Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. And Eternal, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here live on Fox Sports 1350. I make you say you're listening to iesportsnet.com, the Inland Empire Sports Authority. Paid non-attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto and Prodexa users. If you or a loved one has taken the blood thinning drugs Zarelto or Prodexa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. Zarelto and Prodexa have been linked to internal bleeding, strokes, and pulmonary embolisms. If you or a loved one has taken these blood-thinning drugs and have been hospitalized for internal bleeding, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Lines are open 24-7. Call 800-282-8605. That's 800-282-8605. 800-282-8605. You could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Call 800-282-8605 now. All right, guys. We're ready for our four-season sunroom, and Daddy's going to get a rec room with refreshments. Oh, no. We'll be sleeping under the stars. Mom, what about the one with, you know, the fun? Nice try, little bro. It's a gym. My gym. Hey, Grandma's getting her four seasons garden room. Weather tight and still like being outdoors. Maybe a living room. Oh, no, wait. A family hub. Yeah. No matter what the budget, the season, or the climate, Four Seasons Sunrooms let you and your family enjoy the outdoors inside. Call now to hear more about these great offers from the premier manufacturer of sunrooms since 1975. More reasons for four seasons now. To find out more, call toll-free 800-973-5533. That's 800-973-5533. Call 800-973-5533 today. Hello, my name is Officer Richard Guerrero, Vice President of the Fontana Police Officers Association. We're more than just a labor organization. The Fontana Police Officers Association is serious about giving back to our community, particularly to our kids. We found that kids who study, do well in school, volunteer regularly and participate in sports are less likely to become involved in criminal activity and illicit drug usage. Each year we provide thousands of dollars in scholarships to local kids, community causes, and we are proud sponsors of the Inland Valley All-Star Classic Service. 
The Fontana POA and strong community leadership will make way for safer and more prosperous communities. Score Sports has been a loyal partner in the sports industry for over 40 years. Founded in 1975, Score Sports has always been a family-owned and operated business located in the heart of Southern California. They offer a full line of youth and adult soccer uniforms, accessories, and field equipment, youth and adult basketball uniforms and accessories and equipment. Score Sports can outfit your coaches and league referees as well, and much more. Their dedication and attention to detail has transformed Score Sports into one of the leading sport uniform manufacturers in the United States. Visit their spacious warehouse at 726 East Anaheim Street in Wilmington or call them today at 800-626-7774. That's 800-626-7774. Or visit them on the web at scoresports.com. That's scoresports.com at facebook.com slash scoresports or on Twitter and Instagram with the handle Score Sports. That's S-C-O-R-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. We are Fox Sports! Fox Sports 1350 is available anywhere using iHeartRadio. Fox Sports 1350. KTDD San Bernardino. An iHeartRadio station. We're going to go ahead and end it, and we're going to get out of here. Are we ready to, to to pack it up, Eternal? Yes, man, like we always do at this time. Another great show. Like we said, we had Coach VP. We had Paloma Valley in. We want to thank the everybody so Danny much. B. There you go. We want to thank everybody so much for listening to IE Sports Net, connected by Boost Mobile with Coach B. And Eternal, when it comes to Inland Empire Sports, you know the conversation starts and stops here, live on Fox Sports 1350. Y'all have a good one. listening to iesportsnet.com the inland empire sports you are tuned into the new home for ie sportsnet every saturday morning at 8 a.m with coach b and eternal when it comes to inland empire sports the conversation starts and stops here on fox sports radio 1350 a.m ie sportsnet every saturday morning 8 a.m